Welcome to our annual data review of the best radar helmets of 2023. We gathered the best radar helmets, sent our rider out on the road again and he came back with a lot of interesting data, so stay tuned. Hi everyone, Timo van Champion Helmets here and welcome to our channel. Rator helmets are still popular among many cafe and Rator riders because of their nostalgic look combined with all the modern safety and performance features. To find out if claims made by manufacturers about these helmets are actually true, we test them extensively on the road. We put a lot of time and effort into these reviews with just one goal in mind. For you to see an honest review based on facts rather than marketing language and personal opinions. So if you appreciate this effort, please hit that like button and subscribe to our channel so we can continue to do these reviews and continue to give you guys in-depth honest reviews. Alright, before we start first a few general things. Radio helmets are often copies of helmets from the past with all the new bells and whistles of today's technology. For example, the X3000 from AGV is a copy of AGV's very first full face helmet which was used in races. These helmets are full face helmets that often have a special visor compared to the normal helmets or modular helmets with a radio twist to them. The helmets we are going to compare today are the AGV X3000, Bell Bullet, AGV90, the XO HX1, Arai Concept X and the Shui Glamser 06. Ok, we are going to start the guide with the material part. In this part we will rate helmets on two different criteria. The material the Audi shell is made of and how many Audi shell sizes the helmet comes in. A helmet with more Audi shell sizes is better because it not only looks better, but it also contributes to the comfort it offers. In addition, carbon helmets are lighter than polycarbonate helmets and fiberglass helmets. So therefore, carbon gets rated as the best material. If we look at the results, we see that all helmets except AGC's V90 and the HX1 earn 3.5 stars. This is because the V90 is only available in two Audi shell sizes compared to the three Audi shell sizes of the other helmets and therefore earn 3 stars. The HX1 is made of polycarbonate and also comes in two Audi shell sizes, earning 2.5 stars. So the material part, we can say that's all very close. We continue with the weight of the helmet. A lighter helmet contributes to the more riding comfort because it prevents fatigue in the neck. To determine the score for weight, we have established band widths, in which a helmet that weighs under 1400 grams earns the ultimate 5 stars. To make the comparison as fair as possible, we weight all helmets on the same scale in the size M. When we look at the results, we see that one helmet is by far the lightest helmet. This is the Glamster, which weighs less than 1200 grams. This put the Glamster among the lightest helmets we have weighed so far. Even open face helmets are often on the heavier side compared to this extreme lightweight retro full face helmet. We also see that the X3000 and HX1 stay under the 1400 grams and earning them the full 5 stars. The other helmets were slightly heavier, but still on the light side and earning 4 stars. So a great result from the Glamster, HX1 and the X3000. And now that we're done with the weight, we move on to the visor. Ok great, when we start looking at the visor, there are certain criteria they can score points on. These include whether the helmet is pinnacle lens prepared, if the lens is included in the box, and if the helmets have an integrated drop down visor for example. In our matrix, you can see how many stars the helmets can earn per criteria. Let's have a look at the results. We see some bigger differences on this part. The Glamster, Concept X and HX1 are the helmets that are pinnacle lens prepared and that comes with the lens in the box. This ensures that your visor will never condense again while riding. The pinnacle lens that comes with the helmets is a Max Vision pinnacle lens and this is a nice little extra. The V90 and HX1 are the only helmets in this list that have an integrated sun visor, which is a big plus because you don't have to wear sunglasses and it protects your eyes from the sun. The X3000 actually lacks all major options and is only anti fog treated. And also the visor mechanism was on the weaker side. Because of this the helmet unfortunately earns only one star. The bullet is also only anti fog treated, but the bullet comes with an exo dark smoke visor, earning it an extra star. So we can see bigger differences starting to appear between the helmets, but we are far from finished, so let's continue with the results of the road test. Before we look at the results of the road test, first we will go briefly on how we collect our data. On the left side you see a white thermometer that displays the temperature inside the helmet. This meter is connected to a sensor inside the helmet. At the top center you see the decibel meter. This is connected to a microphone placed near our rider's ear. That measures the sound as our rider hears it. On the right we see a phone that displays wind speed and outside temperature. This is connected to a wind meter that we have mounted on our bike. And in the middle we see the dashboard of the bike showing the speed of our rider. All our testing was done with an average wind speed of about 120 and riding speed of 130 km an hour. Now with that out of the way, let's start the road test with the noise. A quieter helmet adds to the riding experience and prevents hearing damage, which is not entirely unimportant. It also enables you to enjoy your music and clearly communicate with the others while riding. Alright, 
For this part, we have also set bandwidths, and as you can see, a helmet that scores below 98 decibel earns a full 5 stars. If we look at the results, we see that one helmet resisted below the 100 decibel, and that is the HX1 from Scorpion with 99 decibel. The V90 and Glamster come very close with a result of 100 decibel, and because of these results, the helmets earn 4 stars for the noise. The X3000 and Bullet are just above that with a value of 102 decibel, which is also certainly not a bad result. The most disappointing helmet was the Concept X, with a loud 106 decibel, which is very loud when you're riding. So we are seeing more differences between the helmets, but we are not done yet and move on to the ventilation. Now that we have discussed the noise, we move on to the ventilation. For the ventilation, we are going to compare the temperature inside the helmet to the outside temperature. A helmet that ventilates well, efficiently dissipates heat and has no difference with the outside temperature. When we look at our ventilation matrix, we use bandwidths to determine our scores. If the temperature inside the helmet does not differ from the outside temperature, we are talking about a helmet with excellent ventilation. So the better the helmet ventilates, the more stars it earns. Now let's see how well our helmets do. If we put everything together in a graph, we can see some big differences again between the helmets. We see that the Glamster, Bullet, HX1 and X3000 are doing very well and deserve 4 stars. In fact, these four helmets had no difference in temperature. The V90 had a temperature difference of 3 degrees Celsius and deserves only 2.5 stars for this reason. The most disappointing helmet was the Concept X from Arai, which had a temperature difference of as much as 7 degrees Celsius and deserves only 1 star for this reason. Interesting result so far. We continue with the only subjective part of this guide and that is comfort. For this part we assess much more than just wearing comfort. You can think of wind resistance, how the inner lining feels, the finish, the overall feel of the helmet and how the helmet behaves on the road. These are criteria that cannot be expressed in hard numbers. Therefore, for this part, we lean on the more than 15 years of riding experience of our test rider, who has tested all the helmets we have mentioned so far, and thus can make the comparison like no other. Let's have a look. Shoei is a brand that always scores very high for comfort in all other helmet categories, but this wasn't really the case for the Glamster with a humble 3 star score. The XO HX1 also earns 3 stars for this part and does very well so far. The helmet from Bell and the X3000 earned a solid 4 stars for this part. If we look at the X3000 of AGV, we see that the inner lining of this helmet was finished with sweat for just that extra little bit of comfort. So let's continue with the features of the helmet. We continue with the features and these are basically all the extra options that are placed in the helmets by the manufacturers. And this section does get a little trickier for retro helmets because they tend to be a little simpler as the emphasis is mostly on style and looks. Our helmets can earn points on certain features that riders have asked us about the most. And these include speaker pockets, emergency quick release, the inner liner options and more. In our features matrix you can see how helmets can earn their stars. And now let's look at the results. The two helmets earning the most stars are the Glamster and the Concept X. The Glamster owed this to passing the new 2206 certification. In addition the helmet has an emergency quick release, is glasses friendly and has multiple liner options. The Concept X also earned 3 stars but partially because of the speaker pockets and emergency quick release. The X3000 is very spartan when it comes to features. In fact, this helmet has no speaker pockets, no emergency quick release and other significant additional options. This helmet had a fine finish and a number of inner lining options. This result of the X3000 is a bit disappointing. And now that we're done with the features, we are also almost done with the guide. And we're going to take a look at the total overview first. Now we can finally see the bigger picture for our Raid Pro helmets. Overall, we have a very interesting set of results and they definitely get all the points for style. The Glamster, HX1 and X2000 offer some of the best performance, although they struggle when it comes to their features. When we have the opposite results when we look at the Concept X. A very surprising result, however, was how well the V90 performed. It's not only AGC's first retro helmet, but also a retro model helmet, which is very unusual. Nevertheless, AGC managed to keep the cost down and offer very decent quality. Interesting, but we have one more part to cover it and that is the price quality. Although our helmets provide very interesting data, we need to factor their price into the final score. To do this, we looked at the average stars of our helmet, which says something about the quality. And the second thing we look at is the euro per earned star, which says something about the value. We add these two factors in our formula, and from that we retrieve the price quality bonus. At the top we see the XO HX1, which got an eye bonus of 3.3 thanks to an average of 3.5 for which you pay 30 euros per earned star. Below that we see the Glamster from Shui, which got a nice score of 2.6 thanks to an average of 3.6 for which you pay 20 euros per earned star. In third place the V90 from AGC, which got a score of 2 due to an average of 3.2 for which you pay 13 euros per earned star. 
Further down we see the bullet which gets a score of 1.3, X3000 with 0.7 and at the very bottom a very disappointing result from Constant X which gets no score for price quality. And now that it is clear we are going to add this score to the other results and take a look at the final verdict and find out which is the best Raytor helmet of 2023. We have now arrived at the final scores and we are finally going to answer the question which helmet is the best Raytor helmet of 2023. And to keep things exciting we start at the bottom in spot 6. In 6th place ended the Arise Concept X with a final score of 6.3. This helmet was very disappointing on ventilation and was the loudest helmet in the group of Retro helmets. Also this helmet did not earn a bonus for price quality but was comfortable and was one of the better helmets if we look at the visor. Finishing 5th place is the X3000 with an average of 6.7 which even earned 1 star on 2 occasions and was disappointing on the visor and feature. But nevertheless this helmet scored very well on ventilation, comfort, weight and had a nice score on value for money. Then in 4th place we, we have an average of 7.1, we see the bell bullet. This helmet was strong on basically all parts but just let down on the features and didn't perform amazing on the visor. In 3rd place we find the AGC V90, also with an average of 7.1, but did have a better price quality bonus and manages to beat the bullet by a very slight margin. This helmet performed well on weight, noise and comfort but let down on ventilation and features. Then there are 2 more helmets and these are the Scorpion HX1 and the Glamser from Shui. And the best Retro helmet of 2023 is the Shui Glamster. The HX1 performed a little less on material and features but had the best price quality score and gets beaten by the Glamster on a very small margin. The Glamster was very strong on the components of weight, noise, ventilation and overall performed a very steady by not scoring lower than 3 stars and had an average of 7.8. So we can state that the rightful winner is the Glamster. This brings us to the end of the video about the best Retro helmets of 2023. We can conclude that the Glamster is the best Retro helmet of this year and is the rightful winner. This helmet offers a good balance between style, features and performance. Would you like more information about the Shui Glamster or any of the other helmets? Then be sure to take a look at our webshop championhelmets.com where we always offer the lowest price guarantee and have great discount bundles. Also don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more reviews, road tests and guides. Thanks for watching, my name is Simon for Champion Helmets and until next time.